Cardigan Bay was sold to clients of leading United States horseman Stanley Dancer for $100,000 during the 1964 Inter-Dominion Carnival in Melbourne and went to America after finishing unplaced in that year's grand final. Under the guidance of Dancer, Cardigan Bay raced successfully until age 12, winning 37 of his 87 starts in America and Canada. He was also the first standard bred in the world to become a million dollar earner. Cardigan Bay will start from number three. Stanley Dancer is his driver. Cardi is second choice according to the pre-race betters. Number four is Adios Marches. Charles King will be cracking the whip. Adios Marches is capable of pulling off the upset of the year, but it's unlikely he'll beat out both Cardigan Bay and number five, Brett Hanover. Number five, Brett Hanover, has Frank Irvin in the sulky. Like Stanley Dancer, Irvin is also the trainer. It shapes up to be one tremendous race. Unbeaten over a half mile oval, Brett Hanover would like to extend his perfect record. It figures to be a two horse showdown with the other three going along just for the ride. The track is fast. If Fire Sweep, Sweet Luck, or Adios Marches makes an early run at this distance, there could be a record in the making. They line up behind that starting gate, which everyone agrees has revolutionized harness racing and made it the popular sport it is today. They move up behind the starter. And now, here's Jim Leeming with the call of the race. There off, Brad Sweet Luck in the center of the track. On the inside, Fire Sweep. Brett Hanover on the outside is third. Cardigan Bay along the rail is fourth, and Adios Marches is fifth. They go around the lower turn with Sweet Luck leading by two lengths. Fire Sweep is second. Cardigan Bay is now third. Brett Hanover is fourth, and Adios Marches is fifth. They go along the back stretch, and that's Sweet Luck leading by a little more than a length. Fire Sweep is second by two and a half lengths. Cardigan Bay is third. Brett Hanover is fourth, and Adios Marches is fifth. They go to the quarter in 28 and 3. Into the far turn, Sweet Luck is in front. Fire Sweep is second by two and a half lengths. Cardigan Bay is third. Brett Hanover is fourth. Adios Marches is fifth. They come by the stand the first time. Sweet Luck on top. They go to the half in 59 and two fifths. Into the lower turn, Sweet Luck leading by a length. Fire Sweep is second. Cardigan Bay is third. Brett Hanover is fourth. And Adios Marches is fifth. They go around the lower turn. Sweet Luck is in front. Fire Sweep is second. Cardigan Bay is third. Brett Hanover is fourth. Adios Marches is fifth. They go down the back stretch for the last time and Sweet Luck in front. Fire Sweep is second. Cardigan Bay is third. And moving up on the outside, Brett Hanover is fourth. They go the three quarters in 130 and four fifths. Into the last turn, Sweet Luck is in front. Cardigan Bay. Coming up on the outside is second by a neck. Along the inside, Fire Sweep is third. Brett Hanover moving on the outside is fourth. Adios Marches is fifth. Here they are at the head of the stretch. It's Sweet Luck along the rail. A length behind Cardigan Bay. That's Brett Hanover. Cardigan Bay is in front. Brett Hanover is coming at him. Cardigan Bay holding him off. Cardigan Bay goes under the wire of the winner. Brett Hanover is second, Adios Marches is third. The time was two minutes flat. It's official, Cardigan Bay captures his 10th straight race. He negotiates the mile in two minutes flat to beat the great Brett Hanover. The 10 year old New Zealand bred veteran is in top form as young four-year-old Brett Hanover will attest. Cardigan Bay is the world's champion pacer and winner of the Pace of the Century.